Welcome to another presentation by My Weight World. Laparoscopic versus open surgery. This presentation is designed to give you a brief overview on the topic of laparoscopic versus open surgery. Key points. Laparoscopic and open surgery are just ways to enter the abdominal cavity. The actual operation inside your abdominal cavity is virtually the same whether it is performed laparoscopic or open. The comments in this talk are specifically for weight loss surgery and may not be necessarily true for other types of surgeries. This talk is designed to give you a brief overview and should not substitute for the advice or direction given by your surgeon. Laparoscopic versus open surgery. Closed or laparoscopic surgery requires four to six small incisions, one half to one inch each, allowing instruments into your abdominal cavity. Visualization is via video camera. The surgeon's hands are outside the abdominal cavity. Standard or incisional surgery, also known as open surgery, requires one incision. The surgeon's hands are inside the abdomen and there is direct visualization. The operation is virtually the same as closed. This is an animation of laparoscopic surgery versus open surgery. In the first part, you will see an incision or a cut made in the middle. That is open surgery. In the second part, small holes are made and camera instruments are inserted through the holes to allow the surgeon to perform the surgery. This is laparoscopic surgery. Surgeons who perform weight loss surgery perform open only, laparoscopic only, or a combination of both based on procedure, doctor's skill level, and patient's choice. Please speak with your surgeon to discuss options. Patient qualifications. Not all patients qualify for the laparoscopic method of performing weight loss surgery. Those who are very heavy with a higher BMI may not qualify for laparoscopic and may have to have the open procedure. Patients who had certain types of prior abdominal surgery who have a lot of scarring near the stomach or intestines may not be eligible for the procedure either. Then there are certain body types. People who carry all their weight in their torso or abdominal cavity and have skinny legs or arms may not be candidates for laparoscopic surgery. Again, these are rough guidelines. Please check with your surgeon as to whether you are a candidate for laparoscopic or open surgery. Types of weight loss surgery. Gastric bands. Of all the different types of traditional weight loss surgeries, gastric bandings, such as the lap band or Swedish band, are the most likely to be performed laparoscopically, even if the surgeon does other weight loss operations using only the open method. Banding operations are typically easy to do laparoscopically. Other weight loss operations. Depends on the surgeon and patient. Please check with the doctor. Conversion from laparoscopic surgery to open surgery. There is a 1 to 10 percent chance that a laparoscopic procedure will need to be converted into an open procedure. There are various reasons. Abnormal anatomy if the surgeon doesn't like what he's seeing, bleeding, broken equipment, persistent leaking of air, other. If this does happen, the patient will wake up with laparoscopic holes and the incision. The potential benefits of laparoscopic versus open surgery. Laparoscopic surgery is slightly more cosmetic. There are multiple small scars versus one large scar. Less scar tissue is formed internally. However, with any operation performed on your abdominal cavity, you'll have internal scar tissue. This hardly ever becomes a problem, so does it truly make a difference to have less scar tissue internally than more? This is debatable. When it comes to open techniques, open tends to be less expensive. Overall, the differences between the two surgeries are fairly small. Complications laparoscopic versus open surgery. It appears there is a higher rate of hernia formation after open surgery. However, you can still get hernias with laparoscopic procedures. When it comes to the actual operation, there are many key complications that can occur and should be similar in percent whether laparoscopic or open surgery such things as leaking of fluids internally from incisions, intestinal blockage and other complications should virtually be the same between the two procedures. 
Overall, the complication rate between the two procedures should be similar. Check with your surgeon for his or her actual statistics. Weight loss. Laparoscopic versus open surgery. An important point. Theoretically, if the operations performed, whether laparoscopic or open, are virtually the same, then the weight loss should be about the same. This is assuming the actual internal operation is performed in the exact same manner. In summary, laparoscopic versus open surgery are just methods to enter the abdominal cavity. The actual operation should be similar. Not all surgeons do both procedures. Gastric banding, such as the lap band, tends to almost always be performed laparoscopically. Not all patients qualify for both surgeries. Theoretically, the procedures are comparable when it comes to benefits, complications, and weight loss. On MyWeightWorld.com, there are different types of presentations that go over different types of surgeries. This has been another presentation by My Weight World.